this is Michael on YouTube Guitar Tutorials. This is a video on my Axe FX2 preset. This is using firmware 6.02. So here's the preset. Here is the layout. There's the drive we showed in a previous video. Let's go to the page one. Type BB Pre drive. Four point. Might have the drive a little too high here, but just to your liking. Tone, level, mix, balance, next page. Really important on this BB Pre to get the low cut way up, otherwise it gives you too much bass and mids. Really got to cut it off way up here, believe it or not. Some of the drives are like that, otherwise they're way too full and bassy. Here are my adjustments here. And then, I don't think I made any adjustments on the uh, last page. No, I didn't make any adjustments there. So that's the drive. Going into my latest amp, AC30 Axe FX2 amp model. I spent a lot of time on this, a lot of changes over the years. This is my latest and greatest. So for those that are Axe, even if you're not an AC30 fan, uh, even if you're not a, excuse me, U2 fan, if you're looking for a great AC30 model, I think this one is as close as I can get to the edges core tone. So if you're looking for that 60s, uh, very midi, not too much ice picky highs, nice smooth AC30 model, this is it. Now this is the TB, the top boost model. But notice I have the treble boost off. Here's the treble boost on, bright, the bright channel. I put the bright off because it's too ice picky, but then I put the treble up to 6.3. That's and I did some adjustments elsewhere in the advanced tabs to get the treble up. And I also have the presence up here at 3.25 on the next page. That helps with the treble. Depth, three. Master, on the AC30, have it up very high and bring the level back so it doesn't clip. This, you want the level, the master way up there to get the tone of the amp because the way Fractal has modeled these, um, you get a different tone with the master way up. And this is key to use, uh, I think, to edge's tone, at least using the Axe FX. Level, amp voicing, I use rock. I love it, it gives it a more MIDI tune, tone to it. Um, so I use the rock. I have not played with these adjustments yet. I have yet to figure out and understand them. So I need to spend some time researching and understanding this some more. But here they are, I think they were the default. I don't think, I don't recall changing any of these. I do add a little EQ. I boost the mids, mid-range frequencies a little bit, quite a bit actually. You guys hear 1, 7, 0 0.75, 15, 1 1.9, 1 1.5, 0.75, and I cut off the 8K at minus two. This is a new page that was added, I think just in 6.0, maybe the late five version, I forget, but this is a new addition to the amp modeling. The dynamics, I've got a 56%. This really smooths things out. I don't know, I, can just, I can't explain it. Just smoother, real, more real, it's great, this page. So I like 56%, transformer matches at one. Transformer drive, I've got a 0.35. The level is, this is the same level as the other page, so that's just uh, another place to adjust the level. Here's the advanced tab for my AC30. Let's just go through these slow. I'm not gonna call them all off. You can just watch the video. This is really important. The bright cap, not too high, not too low. I got a 92 picofarads. Per um, this is really important to the tone, tone stack frequency, play with that, but I like, it. I like it right here. I spent a lot of time researching, or I should try many different versions of the amp model with changing this very high, very low. This is where I like it. Really make nice and smooth, nice, nice mids. I do post. Um, presence frequency, that's fairly important. It has a lot to do with the tone, I think. Depth frequency. Here's another big one, the power tube bias. Make it high. You make it, try playing it at 0.1, it doesn't work. It's very muddy, it's just, it's not good. It doesn't work for you too. So you gotta have this power tube bias way high. It goes to one, so 925 is on the high end. These things I didn't play with too much. I just went back and forth and tried to figure out something I like. I haven't messed with the ply at plate frequencies. Those are at the highest 40K. Um, most of these I tweaked a little bit. I don't think too much. 
Um, but there is the rest of the advanced tab parameters. And as you can see, this is why um, a Fractal is the leader in digital ant modeling. They've just got, they've modeled all the realistic components with into these models and um, give you the ability to change these parameters. And some of them are very subtle and some of them are very, uh, do very drastic things to the tone. And I haven't really gotten to understand all of them yet. Um, there's level again, balance, bypass mode on the mix. And that's it, there's the amp model. Cab, I have been using the cab in stereo, two by 12 blue on one end side and two by 12 Brit on the, on the other. So there's cab left. Mike, I like the R121 condenser. I think it's got a nice open MIDI tone to it. Very clear, very concise. I like that model. Here's the Brit, two by 12 Brit. Here's the mic, same mic on both. Proximity, I do two, link, I have them off in this case. Mode stereo, room level 22, this is where you get to the spatial things. Room level 22%, room size, I don't put too big. Mic spacing, I got it at 18%. Low cut, I haven't met, messed with the cuts. I guess that's the high cut down to 10. Not a huge, it's not gonna make a huge difference. But I don't like ice picky high, so I cut it off a little. Um, Here's the levels, here's the panning, 50 each side, so they're each mixed 50-50, both those cabs. So it's, even though it's stereo, I'm not really using the stereo in tone. I'm not using the, I'm not uh, putting different tone to each side. I'm actually mixing them together. Um, motor drive, I don't know what the motor drive is. I should have, I haven't played with that one yet. Here's the air, air frequency, air. Yeah, I got the air up 22.5 level balance so there you go cab a lot of modeling in the cab so those two together are my core tone that you heard in the previous video or the video is about to come up i forget where i'm going to put i don't know where i'm going to edit in this video in the series um here's the dotted eighth note delay okay digital mono mix 44 percent high in the mix i like that bounce Here's the 464 milliseconds. This is based on the dotted eight setting down here. 28%, that's about three or four, four, about four repeats, three or four repeats. No drive. Here's the modulation, I got a triangle, 4.85. I, I, like, I always go between four and a half and five for edges stuff. Generally, he's in that range. He might change it up here and there, but I just always keep it in the range of four to four and a half to five hertz. There's the, and, I, and, the, and the way I get there is I set, it, I set this LFO tempo to get this between four and a half and five. 25% depth, you know, not too strong, not too light. And there were other, the, I didn't use the other LFO, so this is just one modulation. The rest of this is standard stuff is basically off and I'm not using it. EQ, I usually do cut off about 70. Okay, maybe it should be a little lower, but this is what works for me for the EQing of the delay. This is because I haven't used the second parameters, haven't experimented with these yet. And here's the mix. There's that 44% again, level, balance. And that's the delay. And then you got your reverb. I'm not gonna go through this in detail. Okay, I'm just using your basic medium plate. And it's all the default parameters. My mix on here is 18%, that's important. Mix will have a lot to do with the reverb. So there's the basic, and now the shimmer. Here's my favorite shimmer. Multi-delay, plex shift. In gain, 40%. So what, when I turn this off, my th uh, there'll be no input. When the input comes in, I let it come through at 40%. And then here it is. All these are at 100%. So decay time at 25. Direction forward. Reverse is cool too. I experiment with those, just in case forward. The shift is zero on the first one. I shift up one octave on the second and the fourth. 
and then the little bit of detuning on each by four. I forget if that means carrots or cents, I forget. But these are very micro detuning to those voices. There's four voices, so they're shifted, but there's also some minor detuning. And then the tempos I set myself at 150, whoops, 150, 275, 400, and 525. This is essentially four delays going off. And when you have four delays going off at those different, at different times, it all falls into each other and gives you that orchestra kind of ethereal sound. And all the levels are at 100%, and I've got them panned about 50%, and the rest, there's no uh, ducking or anything. So that's the key multi delay. Now you're going to smooth this out. Now on the mix here, mix I got up at 90%, so a lot of mix. Uh, there's not letting anything through. It's just all multi delay, almost 90%, letting only 10% of the original signal come through. So that then goes into a filter, which I cut off the highs at 2750. So this is just a basic filter. Um, I don't boost it or anything. I'm just cutting out the ice pickiness of, since I'm going an octave up, I'm taking out the super high so it's smoother. And then this goes into heavy reverb. And in this case, I went into, I like going into a large plate. And then this is all the standard parameters. Fault parameters, I didn't change these. All default, I believe. I don't, I don't know enough about reverb to change these. I don't have the time to uh, mess with them because otherwise I'll be. I just won't have time for tutorials if I have to experiment with all these detailed parameters. So I just go with the defaults, and then the EQ, defaults, and the mix. Notice the mix. There it is. Not 85 percent. 85 to why is that? 80, yeah, 85 to 90 percent. So that's very heavy in the mix. Yeah, 85%. So that smooths out the artifacts that get created in the multi-delay. This cuts off the super highs. This smooths it out, and you get the shimmer that you heard in my tutorial. And there you go. That is, and this is a great core preset for streets. And I still haven't found what I'm looking for and bad. And you can just change the delay time and the BPM. And you can use this as a core preset uh, and, do a, and play a lot of U2 songs with this. Here's a tempo, 97 BPM. And that is All I Want Is You, uh, Axe FX2 by Fractal Audio, version 6.02. Thanks for watching. From somewhere up above, no greater gift is man.